Here we're going to use our 10 inch Mormon. This one's been giving me a little bit of headache today. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so what we have here are some garage windows that have not been cleaned in quite some time. That's the screen side here. Uh, that's the fixed side. We already pulled the screen out. Cleaned that one up there, so it's a lot clearer. And that's just the uh, light from through the screen. That one's cleaned. That's got the screen in it. But uh, I'm going to show you how we handle these heavily soiled windows here. And we're up above an awkward roof, so we're gonna pull these windows and clean them from inside. Okay, so we got the uh, heavily, heavily soiled garage windows. Haven't been cleaned in a long time. These are lightweight single pane glass, so they'll be easy to pull. And uh, there's a we're up high, so with an awkward rooftop, so we're gonna pull these and clean them from inside. First, we open them up as far over as we can. As far sometimes there's stoppers up here on the open side that doesn't allow you to pick the window up but close to the glass stay close so you're not leveraging against your back Pull from the bottom pops out let's put these in a safe spot never leave them unattended they uh, have a tendency to fall over depending on what's going on and they can break so we don't want to do that but uh, then we pull the screen here Alright, we're going to wash that screen outside. As far as the rest of the window here, we're going to go ahead and clear out all the cobwebs. We'll clean the outside of this fixed pane, clean the inside of it, and then uh, we'll clean the, the pane that we pulled. First we look for the extra cobwebs. I like to throw my sop towel over our putty knife that we use for pulling screens. Creates a nice little handle to grab all those extra cobwebs out of the way. In the grooves, there, like so. Go ahead and wipe out the track of all the loose debris too. While we're here, depending on the specifications for the job, we spend more time on the tracks for some than others. For this one, we are contracted to clean the tracks. So we're gonna give them that extra clean. This gets in those narrow grooves. These are old aluminum frame windows. So they have very narrow grooves. Like I said, using the putty knife, your soft towel, creates a nice thin edge. We can get in the grooves, loosen up the dirt. We'll come back through later and vacuum out anything left over that's, that's loose if we need to. And then, since we're cleaning the outside from inside, we're going to go ahead and wipe down the outside of the frame as well. A couple of mud nests there. Alright, so we prepped the window area. Now we're going to clean the outside of it. This does have some paint splatter. We've discussed it with the owner. This is actually a, a state cell house. Um, and they're okay with us taking off the extras without, uh, with the scratch liability already taken care of. Although these are older, I believe annealed panes, they're not tempered. The likelihood of them scratching is very little. But there is overspray. bodies inside the building while we reach out and the outside. 
we don't want to hang outside the window and have a potential to fall out or even the window breaking uh, depending on how it's configured sometimes there's glass below like this one that's not as strong we don't want to pop it out and cause an accident definitely want to avoid that now that we've gotten all the paint off we're still going to use our bronze wool pad to go ahead and give it a quick scrub because they're that dirty this will even up any of the marks that may have been left behind by an uneven blade as far as uh, making it look good. Wipe my frame edges. This is the Sorbo 18 inch Cobra. From this angle, a lot of times straight poles are just easier. Edge towel, get our edges like so. It's all the same principles apply as far as how we clean glass with the squeegee. We wet the entire surface, we make sure everything, all the dirt is dissolved and suspended in the solution. And if it takes extra scrubbing, depending on the situation, so be it. Do not believe there's overspray on the inside, but it is dirty, so we're giving that extra scrub. Now, depending, you may not have to scrub it again, but I'm going to because it's kind of dry. Here, we're going to use our 10 inch Mormon. This one's been giving me a little bit of a headache today. Let's see what's going on here. So here's an open window, and there is the clean one. Much better, right? That uh, 10 inch has got a worn out tip, so it's leaving a little mark behind on each turn, which is always frustrating, but if you're aware of what the problems are, they're easy to fix. Now, technically, the Mormon's supposed to be a zero detail, but you still always have soap on the edges. And for our interior residential especially, we want to make sure that we get that wiped off. I'm going to go back through, wipe up any slop that's left on the frames, look through the glass, make sure that we've got all our streaks cleaned up. It looks beautiful, right? Now we're going to clean the other one. We're going to actually lay a towel down and clean the pooled pane on the ground with the towel down. Again, this is in a garage, so we've got a concrete floor. Uh, the towels just to actually make it from slipping um, and then we'll go from there. So there's the window that we just cleaned, reinstalled. We haven't put the screen back in yet because we haven't washed it yet. But uh, there's our next challenge right there. And then the ones below it down there. And we see the ones that have been cleaned upstairs or up higher already done with the screen installed. So looking beautiful. That's the way we like it. <laughs>